Hello Empowered Tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. It's more of a fashion video and um, I'm going to do a bag review. I haven't done that in a long time. I mean I had some bag review videos but um, I don't post a lot of that but I wanted to do one today and it is for this little cutie pie. Hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to get it so you can actually see me and the bag i don't know how much further i can go but yes this is the bag and uh it is from lia luma and it is made in italy and it's a leather bag and it's a belt bag it's actually called a large woven bucket leather drawstring bag uh from lia luma and it's called camosina camosina and it is, it's got a little short strap like this, and then it's got a longer strap, and it's obviously woven. I like this bag because it is very uh, subtle, it is leather, and it's very buttery leather, like soft, and you know, you can maneuver however you want to. And there's this very, very subtle, minimalistic Lia Luma brand on there, and it says made in Italy. Um, it has like a suede interior, drawstring interior, so the whole bag looks kind of like this. It's got a small little drawstring and um, it's just pretty functional. Um, it's very small though. I do put a lot more things in my purse and so it is great for just like running errands but um, I find myself not being able to stuff things in there um, more than my basic necessities. Um, the other thing too is that uh, sometimes when I don't draw string, because you, I mean, come on, this when you go buying stuff, uh, you know, um, anywhere you are, it, sometimes it's hard to like stop to do a drawstring. So then my purse gets like opened up like that, where my things, you know, can fall out or people can you know, maybe stick their hand in and get whatever. Um, but I wanted to show you what I can contain in this little purse. So I have my my Louis Vuitton wallet, which is a pretty big, I mean, it's a nice size wallet that I can fit in there. My uh, Louis Vuitton makeup pouch, which I put all my, nece my necessities in there pretty much, all my stuff. Um, lip gloss, lip, lip balm, clips, uh, whatever, tampons, all that necessity stuff. And um, I have my checkbook, which is also Louis Vuitton. I, I'm a Louis Vuitton freak, but um, I'm kind of changing my style now to more minimalistic where I don't want to, I don't really want to see like brands on it and stuff. I just want like very simple, very subtle purse. And this is really um, kind of what I just, described very subtle very simple um, but very classy and you don't it doesn't have like Louis Vuitton all over you know or anything like that so I'm just kind of going more for the minimalistic style and then I have my little uh, Victorine wallet from Louis Vuitton that I put it in there my coin pouch this is from Kate Spade um, cute little thing and what else do I have oh I have my <gasps> I have my little uh, lash thing that I use to to make sure my lash are not clumpy or if I have lash in my eye. Um, and then my hand sanitizer, of course. Um, really, and then the inside of it is like I said, sweet, and it's got it's the brand in there. And there's a little zip in here. I, I, I didn't use the zip, but it's overall like really soft. And I think it's nice for like if you want to go for a vacation and you don't want to pack a lot of stuff um, and and you but you want a little bag because you know when you go on vacation you do carry like a bigger bag to dump all your stuff but this is kind of nice where you can actually like fold flat and pack in your suitcase so that when you get there um, you have a smaller purse that you can use um, I just really like when the purse is very soft and you know when you don't really like you're not particular about like shapey purse this is definitely not a purse that keeps its shape uh but it definitely has this 
you know, it's very popular now with this bucket bag and then with just a strap just gives it a little bit more designer style, designer look. So, so far, these are all the things that could contain in my purse. So, like I said, just the basic necessities, nothing more. Um, but it's functional for daily use. Um, it's, like I said, the only draw side to it is that it's really hard to... Um, what you call it, uh, put more stuff in it and you don't always drawstring close your purse. Um, and, and it sometimes just look, because of the suede part that is like, um, it just looks like it's not finished, you know? Um, this is more like a rugged look, but again, simple, um, classy. And this is the purse that I've been using for summer. Um, I had my birthday yesterday and my husband got me a um, so Mansour Gabriel, Mansour Gabriel, if I said it right, purse. Um, I'm really into leather purse right now, and I would show you uh, that purse in my next video. Well, hopefully you'll like this. If you do come across a bucket bag um, that is a strap, drawstring, woven bag, maybe this would be something that you would go for. I personally really like it for everyday use, but like I said, if you do, if you're someone that has a lot of stuff, this might not be the bag for you just because it only holds your basic necessities. Um, you can't do too much more because it's, it, it can only hold so much. But um, overall, I like this purse. Um, and now we are going into the fall. I wanted something different um, 